So there's been so many rumors coming about recently about basically the whole entire iPhone SE lineup. Sales numbers haven't really been that great, and I've actually been seeing a couple of rumors or just kind of like suggestions on different comment sections across the land. And a lot of people are suggesting that Apple could actually end up, you know, removing the iPhone SE lineup or doing something along those lines because it looks like the sales numbers aren't doing that well. And it just looks like there's not that much innovation with that lineup. But I will definitely tell you guys, Apple will never remove this iPhone SE lineup. It is probably one of their most profitable segments. And even if they don't sell like a ton of iPhone SEs, the cost to profit ratio on something like an iPhone SE is substantially crazier than even like an iPhone 13 probably. It probably takes them like less than normal price to make something like an iPhone SE than something like an iPhone 13. I mean, that design has been around for so many years. They've been recycling the whole entire thing. So I don't think Apple will ever remove the iPhone SE lineup. But similar to a lot of different iPhones that Apple has made, things will come in waves. If Apple does this thing where they're basically creating, you know, a cheapest iPhone they have ever made, and they're releasing that as the iPhone SE lineup, I just don't see why they would ever remove that. Because even if they don't sell a lot, they're still having, I mean, they're still developing these phones, you know, so they don't have to go ahead and reinvent the wheel. They're just recycling all their parts. They probably have a bunch of these parts already laying around. So it really doesn't take them that much money to make these. Even if they don't sell a lot, at least having a phone in the baseline, even if they're kind of even like losing money on an iPhone SE, that could incline people to not only go ahead and, you know, pick up another iPhone in the future, but that could also incline them to purchasing some Apple services. And I do think that if Apple does end up moving to something like a subscription model, there's really not many other choices they will have besides bundling in like, you know, Apple Care or like a iCloud membership or something like that with an iPhone SE, charging a little bit of a premium and then selling that iPhone for a super cheap price every month. That's another thing I could totally see a bunch of people doing. I also think with the iPhone iPhone SE lineup, it will evolve over time. I think the iPhone SE 3 was kind of a flop. I mean, it's probably still going to sell well, like I've been mentioning. I mean, it's not really like super bad sales right now, but I do think over time, the iPhone SE lineup will start to kind of grow and I think it could potentially be one of the best lineups ever. Very similar to how the original iPhone SE came out and it was kind of an interesting device. I think now Apple needs to just decrease the price and give a little bit of a refresh in the design, even if they recycled that iPhone 8 Plus body and brought it over to the iPhone SE, I would be totally okay with that. But because it's pretty much the same as I think as before, they really didn't do anything. So I don't think the iPhone SE lineup is going anywhere. But I do think because of the iPhone SE 3, Apple's going to have to take a little bit of a different approach with this device. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.